Yo, what up, man? It's Cassius Bricks, and I'm about to vent. You heard? What's good? First, um, I think a lot of the things I think like what has picked up speed now is your um your love for um big women. You yeah, know, yeah. you're the new red man. You do red. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you all your life? Have you ever been? Have you been proud of your love for big women? I have. Like it's 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 real crazy. Like I was. Like back in the day, it wasn't it wasn't trendy. It wasn't trendy like niggas mm -hmm. used to like used to get joked on for shit like that. Mm -hmm. like, niggas used to be like, "Oh, this nigga, He's like fat girls, ah." <laughs> niggas used to crack on me, son. Like, <laughs> dead ass, like it was no love at all for, for big girls or or for the niggas that liked them. <laughs> it was fucked up back then. <laughs> like, like so, I feel like damn, like the glory's finally here. And, mm -hmm. Shit changed. I don't know. Man. Even niggas that I've seen going to school back in mm -hmm. the day, they used, they used to like laughing at me, like, "Yo, son, invite me to the next big girl video shoot." Shit like that. I'm like thinking in my head, like, "Look at this nigga." Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but you've always been, you always been upfront about it. Yeah, yeah you always. you don't ever think of a day where you was like, "Damn, you ever like you never hit a girlfriend or anything like that." I mean, well, no, I mean, you you you're, you're the bachelor. You know, you play the bachelor role. But I mean, like, you've never felt the need to be in the closet about it, right? No, I, I never did that. You shit. never did that. Yeah. Oh, okay, then cool. Um, what what made you proud of it from the day? I mean, what made you go against the grain? Being that you know, like, I don't know. Like growing up, it was like, you know, they had the slim joints with the the you know with the bubble and all that shit with the shape, and it was just something about thicker women that felt grown. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it was like, damn, a challenge and shit like that. So, that's was, uh, yeah, they didn't mature quick. Like, <laughs> I mean, in the body, yeah. Shorty, you almost look like your mom's. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I need that. Like, yeah, they had the milk body before they was yeah, milks. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then they, you know, walking around like with the the wagon, and it's like, whoa, it's, hmm. I'm in fifth grade. What you doing? <laughs> like, yo, you are developed. A, am I the only one seeing this? Like, it was yeah. crazy. Mm. Okay, then got you. Um, uh, it has it definitely has taken off for like recently for you. Um, like I I always thought like the um your BBW Dons and Bunnies. I I was like yo, you sitting on something here, man. Yeah. It's definitely sitting on something. Um, what are some of the are there still challenges? Uh, as far as like um being like a representative of that community, or does it is it? An ambassador, I should say. An ambassador. Is there are there still challenges to this um to um to this day? Um, not really, cause it's it's so trendy and and viral, mm -hmm. and you know everybody like even like big companies or clothing brands they using bigger women to mm -hmm. sell and shit. So it's a little easier, mm -hmm. and they got some people that's doing their thing and mm -hmm. and and like pushing it in a different. I don't know how to say it like. Like in New York or in the, in the South, like it's a lot of like stripper parties and, and shit like that. And my shit, I don't, I don't like to focus on that. Like, you could come and have fun. I don't care if you a stripper, if you a teacher, you a pastor, all that shit. You could come through, mm -hmm. enjoy yourself, and you know, it's, it's all types of people that be in there. But then we all come together and just party. Like you know, you know, yeah. like it, I didn't see like stripper shorties or, or porn stars come through or hit me up like. Uh. Yeah, I'm about to get off work. I'm coming to the party. Like, shit like that. Just come enjoy yourself. You don't got to worry about making a dollar or, like, am I going to make this much tonight? You know, shit yeah. like that. Like, the, the regular strip club vibes and shit like that. So we just set a good time for everybody, you know what I'm saying? When they go home happy, they want to come back to the next one. Mm, got you. Um, did you see it getting this big when you started it? Um, no. I mean, actually... I always wanted to do something for for the plus size community, but mm -hmm. it was just me. Like I ain't had no team or nothing like that, and nobody to be like a team to be like you handle that part of it. I handle this part of it, and the promotion wise, I didn't. You know, it's hard doing shit by yourself. So uh -huh. once I got with a team of people, and we put our brains together, and shit worked. It clicked quick. Like like I'll say, like at least six months, shit was. Booming all over the viral, 
Yeah, yeah viral. Oh, viral. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I mean that's a that's a that's a huge thing. Pause. Um but that's a, <laughs> that's definitely a um thing. That was um something like I seen and I was like, wow, like yeah. yeah. Okay then, um you down one member. Yeah. Would you like to talk about what happened there? I mean, not really, cause I, what how that shit went down was real like immature, and I, I handled it different, and just like working with women, I don't know like emotions and shit like that get the best of people, and yeah. I don't know. I just tried to stay away from that emotional shit mm -hmm. and keep it business, keep it for the uh, you know the movement, keep mm -hmm. the movement strong, and we still moving like shit don't matter. <laughs> Got you. Um, all right, so. Now, how um how do you feel about people thinking that you know that type of things might be like exploitative? Not even for you. I think people understand that you have a genuine love for big women, but you know, I think some big women do feel like you know some men might be exploiting that or something like that. You know, yeah. for the um for the way like you know they might think like big women are less confident. You know, something yeah, like that. I've seen shit like that before. Yeah. And um, how, I mean, being that you are a brand ambassador, how do you, um, do? does the matter of protection ever come in the way of that? Do you ever try to, like, protect it or anything like that? Um, yeah, if I come across it, uh, if a female might seem interested in coming to my event, she'd be like, you know, you know, she might break it down like, I, um, a past experience she had or another ambassador mm -hmm. and shit like that. I do protect it because I want people to come back. I want them to have a good time. I want them because once one person comes, they spread it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So if some bad shit happened, they're going to spread it to somebody else. <laughs> you don't want to fuck up your Yelp review. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, so it's like I try to, you know, protect it as much as I could because this shit going to spread by word of mouth and 